Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Today, I went to STL Comics. I'm so excited to show you guys around the shop just a little bit more and also show you guys what I picked up. It's behind me. Hopefully you guys are excited for this video. Here we go. So we're back at STL Comics. Love this place. Great action figures on the wall. I'm going to be looking through some art germ boxes that are brand new. I think these things are incredible. That that one I've never seen before, but it's a pretty neat looking book. There's like kind of like the sketch variant Robotech. This one is incredible. And I pull it out and it is awesome. I've, I've always remembered this is a great book. The Fly or Fly from Zenoscope. Then we go to the wall to check out the wall. Um, that high evolutionary is very tempting. The first Dane Whitman, very tempting as well. Great X-Men book 7.0 there. Um, first Anti-Venom variant by Addie Granoff. First Century, uh, the book back there is the Thor vs. Magneto 165. First appearance of Mandarin, the Mike Zett classic limited series of The Punisher. Just some incredible books on the wall at STL Comics. This is why I love coming here. Uh, it's just great books, such a variety of stuff. As you saw when I walked in, the place is massive, absolutely massive. I don't know how that Harbinger is still there for $50. $50. It's incredible, but we will see. One of these days, I'm going to have to pick that book up. So zoom out, more slabs on the wall. They've got boxes of slabs on the counter. This is just incredible stuff. And you look down at the wall and there is a nice art germ section there. Brand new art germ books that just came in. That Phoenix one that's all on fire in the green costume, $50. That is a one in 100. Really hope you guys enjoyed the footage at STL Comics. If you're ever in the St. Louis area, I'm not sponsored by STL Comics. It's worth the trip. It's worth the stop. Definitely stop by STL Comics. Let them know that I sent you. They are fantastic. I just have a great time digging through everything there. They've got something to interest every single collector. This is what I picked up uh, today. I had actually held this when they showed their Instagram post. I said, I'll oh, save that Addie Granoff She-Hulk number one for me. It was 10 bucks and I really like this. I used to have a nine, eight of this and I'm so happy to have another copy of this one back in the collection. And then surprisingly enough of all the great books that I saw, I even looked at that amazing Spider-Man 129, the first appearance of Punisher. I looked at that one pretty good. Also that amazing Spider-Man number 50 and I did not pick up either of those. I just bought a collection. So kind of, you know, ready to save up a little bit more. I went to the back and I bought a bunch of hardcover because I want to read some of these things 
Again, I'm so excited to read some of these. So James was there helping me as usual. He brought these up for me. And this is Blackest Night. This is the collected of all, uh, I believe, six issues of Blackest Night. And this book is originally $29.99. Got it for 10 bucks and this thing is pristine condition so this is awesome really excited about reading that one again and then you got some tie-ins so this is the green lantern tie-in another really nice thick collected edition this one was 24.99 and this thing like eight bucks for this $25 book and this is all like the green lantern so if you read all the jeff johns you've got to read these ones but that's one's the the specific blackest night event really great Oh, I'm so pumped about these, super pumped about those. And then you've got this tie-in, Rise of the Black Lanterns. This is another really nice thick hardcover, nice tie-in there. A lot of Black Hand action there. Black Hand was really pivotal in Blackest Night and a lot of that Jeff Johns run. So, And then you've got the Tales of the Court. So these are like the Green Lantern core books, ties tie-ins to Blackest Night. Each title, like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, they each had three tie-ins or three issue tie-ins to um, Blackest Night. All of those were really great. Teen Titans were great. Justice League or Justice Society. I can't remember which one it was that chronicled the Hawkman, Hawk Girl storyline. But anyways, those were really good. Now I got some more. So I've got Green Lantern Rebirth. So this is not green. This is not DC Rebirth. Whenever I see Flash Rebirth or Green Lantern Rebirth, these are the books that I'm talking about. This is Green Lantern Rebirth. This is the only one that looks red. Um, as you can see, there's some fraying or whatnot. Six bucks for Green Lantern Rebirth. This is fantastic from 2004, originally a $25 book as well. Really cool. So I'm going to set that there. Then you've got, I believe this is probably volume number one of that ongoing series by Jeff Johns, Ethan Van Skyver, Ivan Reese. Really amazing Green Lantern run. So I believe this is the first arc and it was five bucks. So of course I'm going to pick that up. And then I picked up one that's kind of in the middle. This is Green Lantern. Sinestro Core War. So this is really awesome. $6 for volume one and then $10 for volume. Oh, this is volume one. This is volume two. So $10 for volume one, $6 for volume two. Couldn't beat it. That's what I got at STL Comics. I, I really like their collected edition section, their trade paperbacks, their hard covers, or their omnibus section, which is up top. The reason why I like it is just because it's super cheap. They don't overprice their books. As you can see, $10 for this $25 hardcover. Absolutely. I love these. I have them all in singles, but I want to read them again. So this is a great way for me to read them again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos, give the thumbs up. You guys would really appreciate that. Comment down below what you thought of STL comics. Hopefully you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya. Bye.